Well, howdy, everybody. I don't know of a person that shoots a rifle that doesn't want to become a better shot, no matter what their skill level is. My name is Keith Warren, and I want to tell you that watching this video coming up from the Barber Creek Shooting School will make you a better marksman. I guarantee it. But what will even help you become a better marksman is attending the Barber Creek Shooting School yourself. On this upcoming video, you're going to see all about the Barber Creek Shooting School, but I want to tell you that I'm going to be attending the next upcoming Barber Creek School, and I want you to join me. And if you want to join either on level one or level two, all you need to do is contact Barber Creek directly and tell them, hey, I want to become a better shot. Now sit back, watch this video, and always shoot straight. So how do everybody this week, the high road goes down to Lower Alabama to shooting school. We'll be at the Barber Creek Shooting Academy, and we're going to be shooting golf balls at a thousand yards. Send it. Boom! I got one! <laughs> so howdy everybody, I'm Keith Warren and this week the high road, well, the high road takes me to school. It's not just any ordinary school. I'm going to long distance shooting school. And I thought I knew a lot about shooting until I came here. So let me yes. ask you this. You're hunting alone. Yep. You don't have a spotter. Yep. And all you've got is your scope. How do you tell the wind right? You, so your focus ring on the left-hand side, you yes. can back focus and read the mirage with a good glass. So the Barber Creek Shooting Academy is a one-of-a-kind place. I mean, this is a beautiful facility that has got some unbelievable coaches there. And I call them coaches because they're instructors, but I mean, this guy, James Eagleman, that runs the place, is top notch in every way you could imagine. 500 yards is a chip shot, and I mean that, all right? Because earth base effects, station pressure, temperature, and altitude don't even start affecting a bullet until 625 yards. So when we talk about long range, long range begins at 625 yards at this station pressure. Because it's different in Montana, different in Colorado because of the thinness of the air. We'll get to that later. James Eagleman, Barber Creek Long Range Hunting and Shooting School. I'm the COO or Chief Operating Officer and partner with Mark Simpson who owns the company. Uh, we've been doing this now for right at six years. I like to say six years because that's when the company started, but really we've been heavy hot on building guns and teaching long range hunting for about five years. Dead Ram. It's only 700 yards, none to it. My background is I grew up in the military. I joined in 1989 and I've been a sniper in the military for 26 years. I'm a retired first sergeant or a master sergeant E8. And then I started my own company with my partner, Mark, and we've just been loving it ever since. My name is Mark Simpson. I am the owner and CEO of Harbor Creek Long Range Shooting School in Eufaula, Alabama. I'm a shooter, always been a shooter. Oh, what a shot! That's yeah. it right there! When I left my first long range class, I wanted to teach it to all my friends, but you need an instructor. So I got James. Three quarter minute left wind on a pig. Lock and load. Let's get three rounds on that pig. And now we've got, in my opinion, one of the greatest long range shooting schools. And that's what we do. We teach you how to shoot. Yeah. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Barber Creek is not only a shooting school, but it's a, it's a place that you can come and enjoy yourself. We have lodging, phenomenal food, steak dinners. We call it the Barber Creek Experience. We just have a really great time. People love it here. And we just opened up our level two, which is a round robin style 800 acre, where we basically shoot uphill, downhill, cross valley, and it puts you in real hunting situations. Send it. Nice. Very nice. Can you see the waves flowing straight up? Oh yeah, I can see them now. They're yeah. super tight and they're flowing straight up. So joining me on this trip is Mayan Sargent. She is with Sierra Ammunition, and this will be the first time we've actually gotten together where we go shooting. Perfect. Nice! Yes! <laughs> the reason why I brought her was simple. I wanted to, to get to know her better, and what I mean by that is there's no better way to get to know somebody than when you have a passion that you share with somebody. And she loves shooting, and I love shooting, and she wanted to know how to shoot long distance better, and so did I. I'm Mayan Sargent. I'm the VP of Sales and Marketing for Sierra Bullets and Barnes Bullets, and we're here at Barber Creek Shooting School. Keith actually gets to be my spotter, so when I say I'm ready, he gets to tell me when to shoot. It's pretty exciting. Ready. Send, Send it. it. Mayan, that's good. Yes. Send it. Real good. <laughs> 
So Sierra Bullets has had the opportunity to have a relationship with the High Road and Keith Warren for a number of years. 460 yards. Got him. Look at that. Dropped him in his tracks, 460 yards. That's why I used the game changer bullet right there. And now with the expansion of Barnes Bullets into our portfolio, we want to get him shooting that as well. We were fortunate enough to have a conversation about long range shooting a couple months back and this opportunity presented itself and I got to be part of it to come down here to learn a little bit more about what Keith wants to do as a hunter and what I can do as a supplier of bullets. The cool thing about Mayan is that Mayan comes from a complete different world than I do. I mean, I, I hunt all the time. Mayan doesn't have a chance to do that because she's so busy in the corporate world. But Mann has her finger on the pulse, as I call it. Mann works for Sierra Ammunition. They are a leading brand in the ammunition category, obviously. And it's important to bring Mann out so she is able to relate to what the people have to say. The Barber Creek School was super appealing to me because I wanted to be the sponge in the room. I wanted to learn everything you could possibly learn about the foundation for long range shooting. When I walk away from here, I have the opportunity to just be a little bit better. Am I going to be an expert? No, but I know that I'll have the confidence to go from 400 yards to 500 yards to 600 yards. That's what I want to accomplish. Yes! So at Barber Creek, the way we have this set up is you're going to show up the night before, you're going to have dinner with everybody else in a class. The reason we do that is I want you to get to know these guys and gals. So you'll have an outfitter in a class, you'll have a doctor in a class, a surgeon in a class, you'll have all these different people. You get to know them the day ahead of time, and that way when you're sitting in class, you won't be afraid to ask questions because everybody's like, oh, I don't want to be that guy. Well, be that guy. That's why you're here. So again, keep both eyes open while you're getting your level, get on the animal, and right when you're perfectly level, close your eye, take a shot, okay? Again, don't get the levels that sit on top. You'll never see it. Guy was trying to sell me on putting the level on the ring itself. Yes. So ring... And again. But now what you're saying makes 100% sense. And problem with ring mounted ones, you can't adjust them. My name's Greg. I'm from the central part of Wisconsin and uh, heard about this place because I wanted to improve my skills and I was comfortable coming here shooting 300 yards. Your first shots are at 400, and then they stretch you out to 1,000. Nice. <laughs> coming here, you learn the basics, how to center on a rifle, how to look through the scope properly, how to level a scope properly, how to read wind. Those are just the things that we started with today. The class is invaluable from James's educational standpoint. This is actual data. This isn't just pulled up and slapped up. We physically shot this. His knowledge brings everything that you could possibly want in a shooting school. The object of long range hunting is giving you the ability to make that once in a lifetime shot. Because guess what? The animal's not always gonna come out at 200 yards and stand there and wait for you. This was 950 yards, Red Harder Beast. It even took a step during the flight process, but it still was in a window. Four minutes of wind. Oh, Rip him! Bam! One shot! Holy smokes! And that's why we teach what we teach in long range hunting, because again, that once in a lifetime shot only comes once. All right, so here's All right, so how this is going to work. I'm going to shoot. start on shooter one and make sure he holds his trigger and work my way. Nice. Who's starting to see their impacts right now a little bit? I actually saw that one. Okay. All right. Dead rim. Perfect. See what happens when your gear works? The biggest thing that okay. I'm finding is this level. Right, All right, we're going to push this out a little bit, folks. When you talked okay? about it in the this classroom, I thought, mm -hmm. 500 yards stuff. I've never used horrible. the level. I will have we're going to go to 727 yards. Guaranteed. The level is going to get you today, All right? I'm good. Send it. Dead Gims Buck. Dead, 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 dead. <laughs> dead. Man, dead. you ever shot an antelope? No. Nice. nice. You just killed an antelope. Oh yeah. This is after one morning nice. class. 
and spending time out here. What, y'all shot six times maybe? Maybe, and haven't yes. missed yet? I mean, it's like, great. Doink, perfect heart shot. Send it. Nice. Girl, that's good. Yes! That's real good. Now this is the end of the first day, and I hope that tomorrow is a better day for me. I mean, I hit everything I was shooting at. I did good, but I want to do great. And so the thing I'm struggling with is a wind and mirage. What the issue is for me is to be able to see it, okay? I mean, the lighting hasn't been good today for me. When I was on deck on the spotting scope, the light had changed, so it wasn't real visible. So I'm struggling with that, but it has been a lot of fun, and it's been a challenge, but tomorrow, we have a chance to get out here and do it again, and uh, hopefully everybody's gonna improve just as much as we did today. Right now, it's time for supper. We're Daryl and Lanka Rautianen from Ontario, Canada, and we're all the way down here in Alabama at Barber Creek Shooting Academy. We booked the Barber Creek basic training course to uh, learn long range shooting skills. Before we got to the course, 300 yards was what we considered a long shot. 400 yards was where we started and, and they made it look easy. Doink. Too nice. easy. <laughs> Too easy. And like, why did you want to come along? I wanted to come just to uh, shoot just a little bit better than Daryl. <laughs> well, it, it didn't help that Lenka shot the clay pigeon at a thousand yards. Hit! Oh! Nice. Broke it right in half. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> Very good. Well, I had to get it. And I missed by a slight margin. Well, there's time this morning to redeem yourself. We'll see if we can get the golf ball today at a thousand yards. All right, today is day two. It's our final day. We're going to the classroom and I am struggling with wind big time. Let's go. All right, so before we get started, is there anything that I covered yesterday that you're not 100% on? The wind we're gonna cover again, trust me. That's why I gave you kind of a preload to what it's gonna be like today when it comes to the wind. Some of you saw it, some of you didn't, right? Some of you saw it, some of you didn't. And we know that, and we'll cover it. I think in anything that you do in life, confidence is really, really important. And shooting is no exception. And I wanna learn everything I can to help my confidence level be the best it can, no matter what. No matter what the conditions, if I choose to pull the trigger, I know without a shadow of a doubt that I can make that shot. Send it. Bib Gim's book, saw it before it even got there. You're gonna be so confident that you're gonna be able to take animals between six and 800 yards just with the right gear and learning to read wind. And that's important for what we do. Again, doesn't mean you have to do it, but you're capable and that's what's important. So what I had Mark do, because it was a gusting wind, there was no, it was no straight wind. I told him to set his rangefinder for a nine mile an hour left wind. And I said, when you hear me say nine, pull the trigger. Nine. So again, I told him to set his rangefinder for a nine mile an hour because we were watching the wind. And he did, so he was holding like four minutes constantly and he was waiting for me to say nine. And that's when he pulled the trigger. All right, so again, here's the battle plan. You guys are break for lunch. Normally, you guys got venison burgers for lunch. I'm not sure what Tony has today. Um, once you finish, we're gonna play golf. <laughs> Long game. I'm super excited for the team to shoot golf balls today. Even if none of us hit them, just the opportunity to say, I tried to shoot a golf ball at a thousand yards is amazing. Send it. That nice. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> that deer, great heart shot. Mm-hmm, send it. Ooh, Ooh, two, two inches, inches at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yep. Okay, good shot. Send it. Nice. Gims buck, gims buck, gims buck. Yes! Send it. Hit! Oh. Hey. Nice! <laughs> That's great! That's awesome! And you get to take it home with a hole in it. Good job, Ken. All right. Nice. Send it. Nailed it. Nice. You're barely outside the white at maybe one inch at five o'clock. Send 
dead, 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 dead. Send it. Hit. Whoa, yeah. Boom! I got one. Ha <laughs> ha! Giddy up! Guys, give me a second, real quick. Hey, Keith. Thank Challenge you. coin. All right, Keith. All right. That's awesome. All right, look there. That's going to go on the wall. That's a trophy now. So after it was all over, yep, I shot a golf ball at a thousand yards, you know, shooting busting clay pigeons at a thousand yards. I'm pretty confident. But if I was using their rifle. Now it's time for me to use my rifle. And boy, was I excited. I have you use my guns in class for one reason and one reason only. I've had so many people show up back in the old days when we used to let them bring their own guns, and I would tell them, make sure you got the right scope, make sure you got the right ammo, but you know what, they show up, scopes in a box, rifles here. So what I do is use my guns in school, use our ammunition, use our range finders. When we finish, you have ample time the rest of that afternoon to shoot your own gun and find out if your gear works, and that's why we do it that way. Okay, I'm watching the wind. All right, send it. Nice. Oh, wow. This is cool. Okay, wind is slowing down just a little bit. Go half a mil left wind. Perfect wind. Do the same thing. Nice. I am solid here. How far is that out? Uh, 996 yards. Okay. I'm S there. Send it. Hey, it's only 996 yards. There's nothing to it. That's pretty good. <laughs> Man. It's your turn. Okay. You give me a ready, I'll give you send it, slow squeeze and hold. Ready. Send it. Oh Did gosh. It? Perfect. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> 500 yard antelope. He died. Oh yeah. The last couple of days have been super beneficial for me. It was almost energizing just to get out and do something, be in the sun as opposed to the snow, and just be here with the team, learn a lot more about the operation of equipment, how it actually operates in the field, what you can do, what you can do to be better. I feel really, I feel really energized leaving this class and being able to want to go and do something different. When I walk back out in the field, I know now I can look at the wind, I can look at the animal, and I can make an educated judgment as to what needs to happen in order for everything to come together. You can't hardly beat this in any sense of the imagination. It's, it's an experience that's two days long, but it feels like it's uh, going to be something that sticks with you for a very, very long time. Yeah, I would highly recommend uh, Barber Creek uh, to anyone that's thinking about uh, you know, increasing their knowledge or, or, or honing their long-range shooting skills. Uh, you don't need to be an expert marksman with years of experience to, uh, to come to Barber Creek. We do get a lot of requests for private classes. Now let me tell you something, honestly, you don't need a private class. You really want to meet these other people because guess what, they're like-minded, they're like us. They're shooters, they're hunters, they want to have fun. You'll be surprised the people you meet in the school. Call Barber Creek at 334-845-0000 or www.barbercreek.com and you can always get a hold of us. Again, James Eagleman at Barber Creek, we just love what we do and hope to see you soon. So as we conclude this trip, uh, this is level one we just graduated from. I asked James, I said, how soon can I sign up for level two? He said, right now. So I did. I'm signed up for level two. Now there are people that say, well, I don't need to go to level one because I'm a good enough shooter to go to level two. Uh, uh, uh. To go to level two, you have to go through level one. And I'm living proof that level one is going to help you even if you're an experienced shooter, level one you need to do it. So if you want more information, contact James or Mark at Barber Creek Shooting Academy and make sure you tell them that you saw it on the high road.